Hey, long time no see. Um, well, it really has been a while, hasn't it? And I did say that I wouldn't vanish, and it is exactly what I did. Sorry about that. I hope that you've been well. I do hope that you've been well. It's not a gimmick. When I say it, even if it takes me months and months and months and months to get round to doing a video again, I don't know exactly why it is that I don't get round to it, I sort of have the strange fear sometimes of coming back to it. It's a weird thing. YouTube, uh, people watching you and, and, and supporting you, which sounds amazing, and yet for some reason it's weird. Oh, oh that's the wrong word. Um, difficult to me in ways at times, um, to everyone who has said, uh, we miss you, or we hope you're doing well, and how are you, I am well, thank you for missing me, I'm sorry that I left you this long, but I hope you have been well, and so I figured I owe it to you, if nothing else, to tell you what I've been up to a little bit, because, to be completely honest, I, I, I just don't have very much time at the moment, if nothing else, on top of... You know, I, I have distanced from making videos for a while, just out of... I don't know, a strange feeling of partially all the faff involved. There's, there's much faff. I'm not very good at streamlining this sort of thing. And so I think I might need to change my approach to perhaps shorter, uh, you know, 10, 10, 15 minutes, that's normal anyway, for what they are, but, um, but simpler in my mind of simply saying, you know, not overburdening myself with worrying about elements of background noise or perfect lighting, because th there's always plenty of those things being, you know, done terribly present there anyway, always, and I think I would rather make more videos for you than none at all, because I'm annoyed about them not, not being fantastic or incredibly unique and interesting, uh, because more than anything, I, I don't really have the time for learning and or doing complex editing and things. I don't know it, I'm not very good at it, but um, no, so what I have been doing, uh, obviously I went travelling in October, uh, halfway through October in the first week of November, and I, and I interrailed, I went uh, solo travelling, and I went to Amsterdam, uh, Br sorry, no, Brussels first, I went to Brussels, then Amsterdam, then Hamburg, then Copenhagen, then Gothenburg, then Oslo, Stockholm, and finally, and beautifully, uh, Bergen, which is the, the south west side of Norway. And it's, it's like whales on steroids, it's just this massive, you know, glacial-carved, mountainous, oh, glorious city. It's incredibly strange. I think that the show Hilda uh, Trollberg is probably inspired by Bergen, if anyone enjoys Hilda. I love it, I really love that show. But, um, I was watching it a while ago and going, I swear, this looks like Bergen. And then I was googling, like, does anybody know? Like, is it Bergen? And I saw other people being like, it must be inspired by Bergen. Look at these pictures, they look so similar. Um, so I don't know if it's if it's fact, but I'm pretty confident that it must be, because it looks near identical, uh, which is awesome. Um, but no, yes, so I suppose before the travelling started, I essentially, you know, I finished university in... June-ish time, summer last year, and I kind of stared at the wall for four months, I didn't know what I wanted to do, I didn't know, you know, I, I only know who I am to such an extent, um, still of course it's not been that long, but you know, you, you don't know who you are or what you want, I was glad to be done with university, <laughs> that much is true, but of course you know I'm back home, and then it's this odd position of, 
here I am now. Uh, but what am I? And what am I to do? So I stared at a wall for four months and did not do very much. And then I finally snapped enough to do the traveling. And then when I came back from that, I was, you know, snapped back into the world a little bit, you know, rejuvenated, uh, eager to be a part of it. And so I, I started doing some shifts, just part-time, like catering work. And that was fun, actually. That was quite nice in a way of having purpose and something to do and people to talk to who were all, you know, there for the same thing, even though, you know, the work is simple, but it's something to do more than anything. And that was good. And I did that through December for a while. In the meantime of signing up to the main thing in my life at the moment, I suppose, which is a intensive uh, sort of one term, so 10 weeks art course that I signed up to and I and I decided and I'm still surprised that I managed to to commit to the decision to actually do this even more surprised than the fact that I decided to go traveling and stuff um, because I, I really do like drawing and, and art generally um, and I am passionate about it but I'm very inexperienced with it and and quite terrible uh, compared to people you know doing it for however long and who've learnt and engaged and experimented with however much but but that is how it goes but i decided i need to see what the people in this world are like who they are what goes on here what can i find here and i have to say i'm i'm four weeks in i'm a month in of 10 weeks and i love it and it's incredible and it's terrifying and it's draining but it's so exciting because every single time I go in, I come away having done things I've never done before, experimented with materials and just, I mean, to be honest, pretty much anything I do is a new and first, you know, experience when it comes to art. So all of it is incredibly new. And so it is terrifying, but it is thrilling. I'm, I'm really loving it. I'm really enjoying it. And it's knackering as well. It's men the mental drain because you're really putting yourself out there by simply by making anything and people looking at it as long as you've tried your hardest. And especially too, you know, I recently had a moment with it of having to look at what I've made and go, well, I quite like this for me because I've never used these things or tried to do anything like this and I never used colour and I'm terrified of colour. and So I have to be kind of proud of what I've made relative to my own skill. But then you see what some other people have made and they're incredible and that, you know, that destroys you in a small way of going, wow, that is so incredible, the chasm between us. I don't even feel like I can talk to you to tell you how impressive that is and how cool that is because, you know, that's normal for you, like that's your capability and it's so incredibly dwarfs mine but again you can only compare it back to yourself and the sort of the knowledge and the excitement that hopefully you'll be able to attain where they are and you know maybe even push beyond it or, or well simply discover your own equivalent your own passions and just skills and interests um i feel like i've been rambling plenty already to you we're already <laughs> I was thinking of making this 10 minutes, it's already 10 minutes long, but you know, I wanted, uh, and I want this particular video to just be for any of you who are interested enough um, in knowing that I'm alive, and I'm alive, to fill you in on my life a bit, and I have a few objects as well to interact with, I guess, but um, I'll try and make some short videos, I think, of, of some sort, you know, small roleplay, haircut, face personal attention, whatever kind of things, just to have something uh, for us, because it's very silly to have so many of you here who are all wonderful and, and willing to, you know, support my life, my, my essence, I guess, you know, me as a, as a human being saying that we're here for it. Um, so it seems weird that I shouldn't be here for it as well. Um, you know, that, that seemed quite unfair to how much you're willing to offer to me by simply being here, because that's incredible, actually, 
it's 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 really weird <laughs> you know it's crazy like the scale of the internet i suppose um yeah so i have a, a tiny music box it's really battered and i'm not going to play the music because it it, do, it will not sound good it's heavily out of tune it's incredibly old but it has a lot of these cute dogs on it and some nice sounds as well i thought or if it's better that I leave this here as a ramblings of simply what I'm up to and then can do something uh, more favourable to you after. Um, so yes, my, my days at the moment are this hot course, Dungeons and Dragons, recently more finally um, bringing some friends together for us to actually properly play and have real characters that we've made together and a world that we've made together so there's real investment there's real excitement and interest and just you know a desire to engage with the world um so that's a fun thing happening too and i'm reading a lot at the moment because whenever i'm on transport it's a great opportunity to read so i've done a lot of reading and I started reading, I've just started reading the Lord of the Rings series because I've never read or watched them. Uh, I just read The Hobbit over the past week and I loved it. It was great. I, uh, I read it when I was going to sleep. And I <laughs> was surprised at how it reads. I kind of forgot it was a children's story. So, of course, it's very readable. I always imagined Tolkien being very, like, dense and prosaic and quite difficult. Um, and I kind of forgot what the book actually was. And, of course... It's, you know, it's delightful and whimsical and just kind of races through itself, which is hilarious, to be honest. Um, I'll also talk more about books, I think, another video. I'll just talk about books for a while, because people seem to like me talking about books, and maybe I can read little passages from all of them. Like, like little paragraphs that I like from some of them, because I tend to mark out pages with descriptions that I really enjoy. But I forget to come back to them. <laughs> So that could be an idea. But for now, I will just leave you with some random uh, words from a, a tutor meeting that I had on Wednesday uh, from the art course. Uh, a check-in, you know, how are you doing? How are you finding it? Uh, who, what does your work, you know, these artists you might want to look into, your work reminds me of them, or these exercises you might want to try to explore your, you know, working mindset, your crafts, just your ideas, reviewing them, thinking about them, just all of that. Um, but just some simple things that I wrote down from there is let go, let flow, to play, to play, to play. Keep working, keep creating, Action, action, action. Enjoy diving into the water, getting lost, thinking of David Bowie's tiptoes not quite touching the floor, standing uncomfortably in the deep end, which is where the magic happens. Taking an objective eye to yourself and rediscovering in yourself 
what your passions might seem to be, where you take yourself unknowingly, what you might be working towards. I can't say I know what this video was, really. Uh, just, just a return, I guess. Just a hello. <laughs> I'm here. I'm, I am alive. And I hope you're very well. And I will catch up with you properly soon. wish you a very good night's rest, if you have been listening to this as a slightly podcasty kind of thing uh, to sleep, or if simply whilst working, hearing me ramble and titter tatter pitter patter about nothing much at all, then I hope that did not feel like a grand <laughs> waste of time. Yes. Hello again. Welcome back to this space and chamber of wherever it is we are and wherever we will be for the future. It's good to see you again. Rest well, my friend, and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye for now.